ఫ్రెండ్స్ దర్ ఇస్ ఇష్యూ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ అబౌట్ హిజాబ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆర్ ఇష్యూ టు మై చిల్డ్రన్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ వాస్ మై సన్ సి డూ యూ డూ యూ సి హిజాబ్ ఇన్ ద స్కూల్స్ దట్ ఈస్ పీపుల్ వేరింగ్ హిజాబ్ హి సెడ్ ఎస్ అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఎక్స్ కోలీగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మర్జీనియా హీ రిప్లైడ్ సింగ్ దట్ ఇస్ డాటర్స్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆల్సో వేర్ హిజాబ్ ఇన్ స్కూల్స్ so when there is no problem in schools of america for uh, those who practice islam wearing hijab then what is the problem in schools in india that is my fundamental question number 1 and uh, second is when schools are uh, okay in us right and in us schools there is no uniform especially in government schools i am talking i am not talking about private so i don't know why uniform in india because i i studied in india i've seen right people think that uniform is for equality or uniformity whatever but where is uh, uniformity or equality in india from 9th grade people know what caste they are people ask students ask are uh, divided start head by caste region religion language Uh, that goes to the peaks at the time of intermediate it's called 11th grade or 12th grade and then degree graduation and the university level it becomes peaks right so when you wear uniform or when you impose uniform by schools management or private schools or government schools whatever and uh, the mindset is a problem then what is the use of wearing uniform like why don't you follow american method no uniform but all treat equally right people from 200 nations come and study are men what the heck only one nation 16 different languages and each state has a different language i can't they uh, have that kind of mindset without uniform that's my fundamental question number 2 and uh, when comes to uh, religious freedom i think somewhere in 2011 to 13 i studied online some about this topic 100% religious freedom is there in us but that's not there in india point 1 point 3 majority people in democracy all are equal but in uh, again we call it as majority right majority religious people always are afraid of minorities and since it is uh, happened in udupi in karnataka subject to correction uh, there the you know, bjp government or the government whatever the party in power has created uh, this issue i don't know but i don't know what is this and uh, high court also um, shekhar gupta from print and uh, hyderabad from sir and uh, jp dr jp from hyderabad i've seen their analysis but still they don't know what's happening in america right so they might know from other channels but from america i'm telling my views and uh, my perception about this and in the name of uh, izab controversy the high court or uh, uh, school or state is uh, denying right to education for the girl right for the women especially in india girl child coming forward for education is very tough in spite of it people are creating like this problems and according to me i don't know about the indian constitution i respect it but what i'm saying is uh, state and center has no role to interfere in individuals rights or freedom like what to wear what not to wear and then uh, what to eat what not to eat earlier beef well so there is a controversy right and uh, that's what i want to communicate uh, like i mean to say uh, another uh, point i forgot i thought of i would have written somewhere some i wrote uh, the another point is and uh, that is something women or a girl has to decide right any religion men decides but here in this particular uh, hijab it is the women has to decide whether to wear or not and uh, when comes to oh, hijab then uh, why they are allowing uh, punjabi sikhs to wear uh, turban and go to 
school right so when when you are not allowing hijab then you have to stop it for other religions also right i've seen shaker gupta print explained very well about something about constitution where it excluded the punjab is part of the uh, turban part of the religion it must be there and uh, from quran hijab is not mandatory something like that some lines quote subject to correction i should not refer his video but since i have seen several people uh, so few people views before i make my video on on this topic but uh, whatever it might be but uh, uh, in that case for example hindus were uh, uh, and the ndtv the supreme court uh, lawyer told uh, when the question was asked like uh, christians wear uh, cross then why not hijab then he said it is cloth that is small that is visible something but in vijayawada and andhra it happened the father is wearing full gown right christian father whatever then he is not allowing women to wear hijab that is a, something uh, looks ridiculous to me um, for my knowledge or my level of thinking i may be right or wrong but i leave it to the subscribers viewers to write uh, wherever you are from your country or watching just leave the comment uh, positively and uh, not to offend anyone but these are my views from america it should be allowed but I, what i feel is india is going backwards not even developing it is going backwards fighting for pretty issues like is up so many things are there uh, do you, does the government college uh, which saying no is up do you have facilities restrooms are there for women so food facilities are there so those things they have to focus rather than is up thank you